seen Usyk in the gym because he doesn't allow uh, coaches to go to training camp. But from what Martin tells me. Danny Gathon here for Pro Boxing Fans. We're in Belfast. We've just had the final press conference with Lewis Crocker versus Jose Felix. It's a pleasure to be joined by head trainer Lewis Crocker, Billy Nelson. Billy, you must be absolutely delighted. Please let Lewis announce himself to fans across the UK, across the world with a fight against their own and back out headline in a match on the show less than two months later. I was thrilled to get my back out, especially after 2022 before Lewis came at me. There was a lot of activity in his career. I uh, got four, four fights last year, ending with a good win against Tyrone McKenna beginning of December in Belfast. And it's magic to be back so quickly. Uh, so he's, he's going to go out on Saturday night and make another statement against Jose Felix. What's your scouting report on Jose? As was referenced up at the press conference, he's a familiar name to these shores. Uh, had that fight with Tyrone McKenna at Falls Park and then that big upset win over Gary Colley in Dublin. Up in weight. At Walter Wade, you'd imagine Lewis will have the size advantage. How do you sum up the threat of the man in the opposite corner? Lewis punches much harder than Jose Felix, I can assure you. Uh, bear in mind that the Gary Cully fight was at light welterweight, uh, sorry, lightweight, yeah. but the Tyrone McKenna fight was at light welterweight, and he lost to Tyrone, and, and uh, Lewis beat him in every, every single department and every round in, in, in Belfast, with the fullest respect to Tyrone. Two balls of steel, you know, but. They beat him very, very convincingly. So we've beat a man who's beat the man, basically. You've been banging the drum about Lewis Crocker for a while, obviously, since he's joined you. You've described him as the hard, hardest hitting pound for pound fighter you've had on the pads. In your ideal world, he gets through Saturday night. What does the rest of the 2024 look like for the Croc? I mean, I mean we'll take one fight at a time, seriously. I, I believe he's the best welterweight in, in, in the UK, bar none. Uh, so I don't think there's anything in Britain that will phase them. So I'm possibly going at the national route. Every time, I'm not sure if you've seen this, uh, Connor Penn does a social media post. There's like a flux of fans from Northern Irish just commenting croc emojis. Uh, it's a fight that seems unlikely for the time being for several reasons. We'll not get into them, but that's obviously a fight you'd be licking your lips at, and I'm sure you'd be very confident in. Very, very confident. I've said it for day one. I believe Lewis beats him in every department. And that's no disrespect to Ben, he's a very good fighter, uh, a cracking guy. But I believe Lewis beats him in every department. Um, most importantly, he's got a far better chin. I want to talk to you a bit about Martin McCauley, Bill. I've got you. We got the news a couple of weeks ago that he'd been ordered to fight Cassius Cheney in a final eliminator for the WBA title. Just a couple of points that were raised by fans online. What would the situation be for that eliminator? Because obviously there's two WBA champions at the minute. You've got Yusik and then Char, I think, fighting Pulev for the regular. Do you know how that would play out politically? No idea. I just know that hers is the final eliminator. And once we take care of business there, if the WBA tell us to fight, maybe the winner, Charles Pulev, for the right to fight the winner, Fury Usyk, so be it. And how far away would you say we are from dates, venues for that fight between Martin and uh, Cheney? Well, uh, our promoter's got 30 days from the 13th of January, which will be the 12th of February, to come to an agreement with Don King. Failing that was the first bit. And then, uh, I want to talk to you a bit about the undisputed fight, Bill. Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk. Now you and Team Bacoli might have a sort of unique perspective on that. Martin Sparr, both of them. Based on what you've seen in the gym, uh, how do you compare them? Obviously very different stylistic fighters, and who do you think comes out on top? With the first respect, I've not seen Usyk in the gym. Because he doesn't allow uh, coaches to go to training camp. But from what Martin tells me, uh, Usyk... When I, I think struggles in certain things. I look at a great fight at the end. And I think it's I think it's there for all, all to see that I mean AJ hurt my body. I know Martin's hurt my body. So there is weaknesses there. And I think Tyson Fury will capitalise on those weaknesses. A lot of people put a lot of hate into Tyson's performance against Ngannou. You obviously don't look at it that way, more of an off night for Tyson, and you're expecting a better version against Alexander Usyk. I think he's a hundred times better than what he was against Ngannou, and he'll need to be. Usyk is a fine, fine, fine fighter. 
One of the best. Just on, Francis Ngannou uh, announced last month fighting him and Anthony Joshua. Now, it seems they've split opinion amongst fans and people in the boxing world. There are some people who see it as a live heavyweight fight and that Francis poses real danger to AJ, and other people have described it as a bit of a cash grab. What do you see it? Grab it. Um, but you can't blame AJ and you can't blame Ngannou for taking it. If it and, and if the same opportunity arose for Martin McCauley, we would do the same. Because you can't, you can't not back that kind of money for your fighter. That's, that's my whole purpose for me being a manager, to get the best opportunities and the best paydays for my fighters. So with that, I'm assuming you don't envisage Ngannou causing AJ the same sort of problems with that element of surprise gone that he had with the Tyson Fury fight? None whatsoever. I don't think he'd, he'd beat anybody in the top 10 to be quite honest. Well, Billy, I uh, appreciate you giving me some of your time. Uh, all the best Saturday night. Enjoy your rest of time in Belfast. Top man, Billy. Appreciate that, mate.